Right, this is a quick video for Danny just to check. I'm pretty sure that even if you drop the connector into water it wouldn't actually cause a problem. So to test this I've got a, this is an old three cell battery. This is a voltmeter so it's showing 12.27. I'm just going to dip the lead into the water. And you can see that's right in the water and the voltage doesn't change at all. Now even if that voltage dropped as out of the water and that's in the water even if that voltage dropped even to 5 volts, if it was a slight short out, it wouldn't actually cause any damage to what's running on that other than the power would cut and it would just cut out. So I think that pretty much confirms that dropping that JST connector into snow wouldn't cause a problem. hope this is useful. Right, just as a second test, I've taken a spare JST plug, I've connected it up to my uh, DVM. This is showing a resistance. Now you can see it's obviously an open circuit because it's dry. If I drop that right into the water, you can see this is showing um, 0.7 mega ohms. So that is uh, 430, or it's dropping now, but it's 400 kilo ohms. It's a massive, massive resistor. So that, that's why it doesn't affect the voltage at all. Um, and you see as the water getting, is seeping into the connector, it's dropping. So it's now still 200 kilo ohms. Obviously, this is right underwater, um, and a 200 kilo ohm resistor is is nothing. You can that's not a short at all. Um, you wouldn't even it wouldn't even get warm the resistor because it's such high. It's going back up again now, so it's 300 kilo ohms. Um, so yeah, I mean, I would think to have any kind of short circuit effect, it'd have to be in the sort of 500 ohm or less. So we're you know a thousand times um, higher resistance.